first quarter. A rock and roll dance over here. Both the doers second. Here comes Sweet Will and Dave Pallone, and we've got an early battle going to the halfway point. That's Roger Houston, <laughs> the voice of harness racing for over 40 years. And that race was the 2012 Adios, a race that was won in world record time. Yeah, the Adios Pace for the Orchids attracts the best drivers, the best pacers, and a purse worth $500,000. Oh my goodness. The 57th annual Adios is coming up next weekend. And we brought the longtime voice of the Meadows in today to tell us all about it. Roger Houston was started calling races when he was a senior in high school. You've announced races at more than 150 tracks. Is that right? Yeah, in eight 157. Countries? Wow, yeah. and eight different countries as well. Yeah, I get two weeks. I leave for Ireland, call races over in Wales. Wow, oh, that's a nice gig, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've been going for about ten straight years. What? So, for people who don't know about the Adios and, and what that is, how big a deal it is, explain to us. Well, tomorrow actually they're having the eliminations for the Adios. They had seventeen horses entered this year, and the top uh, eight or nine will come back next Saturday for the final. Uh, it's a major race in harness racing, founded, of course, by Delvin Miller. He had the stallion Adios, and that's how it got the name, the Adios, and it uh, draws the best. In fact, is a horse that's a heavy favorite, right, even right now, it's, it's my show, undefeated this year with six for six. Wow, and a drop of knowledge on us, too. I know. Right? Well, we're here to learn <laughs> from the best. <laughs> is Meadows one of your favorite? It has to be, right? You've done so much there for so long. I've spent almost my half of my life uh, at the Meadows. I arrived in 1976, and I kind of semi-retired in uh, 2019, but I guess I'm a long way from being retired because I still do about 1,500 races a year. Wow. Yeah, that's not retired. No. no, not at all. No, no. <laughs> sounds like the kind of retirement David Highfield will enjoy too. Right? Well, you still got a hand yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you're going to attempt to help us learn how to call a race. I don't know how so, this is go. so what we're going to do first is we're going to listen to Roger in action yeah. so that maybe we can glean a few things and then he's going to give us some advice and then we're going to try it. So first, let's listen. Lightning Lane, rock and roll dance, bolt the door, Mark McDowell wins the Adios with bolt the door, world's record, 147 and 4. Whoa, you're just a little excited. <laughs> I, you know, I call every race like it's uh, Adios or the Little Brown Jug because sometimes uh, a claiming race is as close as some, an owner or somebody gets to being in a major race. But yeah. I give it all all the time. Well, and you get the crowd yeah. so enthused too. Well, I, I, I get enthused. I mean, I've seen or announced 183,000 races, and uh, I get as enthused uh, today as I did when I first started. It's so fast though. I mean, it's so, it's a such a fast sport. You're watching it and like, it's over like that. Do you ever, are you under the gun or you feel under the pressure with getting all the names right because they change? You cannot plan ahead right. anything for a race. Yeah. It, 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 that's the one problem. And if uh, you guys are gonna try it, you, you can't memorize or, or say, well, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that. You right. have to play the action. Yeah, we have the this, this script right. from this, but Woo. this is you did not have any kind of script because you didn't know what was going to happen. So you go first. No. You go first. No, no, no. In fact, I've been told we're going to do it together, which oh, will make well, it even gonna... better, right? So anyway, we're going to oh, watch boy. the same piece of video okay. that Roger announced, at, and then we're going to try to do it here. We're going to try to do it together. Okay. Uh, so we're going to we're going to roll it right is this, now. This is where we then, start here. Yeah, this okay. is where we start. All right. It was it a blistering blister first quarter, 25 and 1, and three quarters, 119 and 2, and, and, two, and they're all within three legs. legs. Rock and roll dance, dance the leader. Both the doer second. Sweet moves, faith between the horses. Down the stretch, rock and roll dance. Both the doer, both the doer. Goes the lightning rain, rock and roll dance. Both the doer, both the doer. Mark McDonald wins the adios with both the doer. 147 and 4. Oh, uh, you oh guys talk a lot faster than I do. Uh, <laughs> well, and I'll you just, did well. I'll tell you this: we talk a lot. Yeah, just we, period. We've been told we that before that we, we do talk do. a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We could never do what you do, and you make it look so easy and so enjoyable, and we we love that. Well, I'll tell you, uh, folks, got to come out uh, even tomorrow for the eliminations. Uh, next Saturday, the final. A lot of races. Uh, 
it's a two-day event really because Friday night is kind of family fun night. They've got some mm -hmm. uh, uh, food trucks and things like awesome. that. And then Saturday, be sure you ride on this stim a stimulator which gives you the feeling of actually sitting behind a horse. You got the goggles on and everything, and, it, and the sulky is bouncing. Really? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Well, try you know that. what? And a lot of food trucks, too, as well. Thank you yeah. so much. And I, I'll tell you what, if the Meadows doesn't care if we get it wrong, we'll come out and call a race. <laughs> I don't think they'll ask us to do that based on what <laughs> we know. We've had a lot of celebrities call races in the Meadows. Bill Hillgrove, Myron Cope. I mean, yeah, we'll oh, mess it up. Well, I can promise I can you. They're professional. <laughs> okay, we'll talk later, Roger. <laughs>